Diana is a young druid that lives in a quiet, peaceful forest. She is a direct descendant of the infamous Shade Druid, who tried to cover the land in corruption. Many years ago, the Shade Druid worked with the Poltergast, until eventually the Druid imprisoned it in the dungeon, taking some of its power. After Raiden the Rogue defeated Supreme Calamitous and became the new Lord of Darkness, he released the Poltergast so it could take revenge on the Druids. One day, while out foraging for berries, Diana heard the sound of marching and the clinking of bones. She quickly climbed a nearby tree and saw an army of the undead, led by the Poltergast, heading towards the forest. Diana knew her best chance of survival would be to run, so she left her home and began preparing druidic weapons and nature-based magic to defend herself. She wasn't going to stand by and watch the forces of darkness corrupt and destroy the land. This is the story of Diana the Druid. Welcome back. This is Rito here with a brand new Terraria series. We are playing on the Mod of Redemption as a Druid class. This is Diana the Druid, and we are in a fresh new Mod of Redemption world. This is a medium corruption world on expert mode. And I see a chicken over there. That's a new enemy in the Mod of Redemption, or it's a... I guess a peaceful enemy, but I know we got to get some chicken eggs to summon a boss later on. And we've got a snow biome right over here. I think I'm going to stay clear of that for a little bit. Let's cut down a few trees. What are these bugs? These are kind of interesting tree bugs. I really don't know that much about this mod, so I'm really excited to learn and see all the new stuff. Let's craft a few of these platforms and also a workbench. Excellent. And I'll just put a workbench right here and see what we can craft right away. Ooh, we can craft the acorn staff. Excellent. That's our first druid weapon. This is awesome. It shoots acorns. And we can summon this little, like, bat or a little, like, bee or something above us that does damage to these enemies. Yeah, this is amazing. And the fact that it doesn't use magic is really good because we only have 20 mana. So let's cut down a few more trees and then keep on exploring. And right off the bat, you can see we've got a distinct look for our character. That's because we've got a few vanity items on. You can see our defense is zero. We are using a familiar wig, the forest druid's tunic and the forest druid's legs. And then we've got a tool belt dyed brown, the obsidian rose dyed red and the red cape dyed teal and black. I also gave this character the fairy bell because it looks pretty cool and I think it matches the druid class as a cool pet. Plus it will help the let's play a little bit because it'll be easier for y'all to see when we go underground and everything. And for this playthrough we had a build and vanity contest on the discord channel and I've got a link to the discord channel in the description if you're interested in checking it out. We've got a great community there. I didn't use any of the vanities directly but I was inspired by several of them. Um, the main ones was Poi which had the forest druid armor and the brown hair which I thought looked really cool, so I put that into this one. And then Endo GD, who used the Obsidian Rose. And I didn't even know this was something that you could use as a vanity. And I think it looks really awesome. And it looks more like a rose than the Jungle Rose. Whoa, these purple slimes are really quite strong. And I'm seeing, like, we got some little plants that were growing. It was like little tiny trees. And let's go ahead and use the right click. Ooh, that definitely increases our damage. It's like having a summon. I've heard that the druid class can get pretty overpowered in the end game. There's some weapons that probably need to be revamped. And so I think there's going to be certain weapons that we omit from this playthrough just to keep our character from getting too strong. And then there was also a build contest on the discord and I have selected the winner, which is the first boosh or boosh boy. I don't have it in this world yet, but I will add it with T edit between episodes. And I might do a little bit more building as well. I still haven't decided. We'll at least need to build a few more things to house NPCs. But I'll figure that out as we go. Ooh, what is this? Plant matter. Okay, we got to add this to vein miner. There we go. Yeah, so you can see we've got... Whoa, we're taking damage. Oh no, we got to run away from those purple slimes. I'm using pretty much all the normal mods that I use, like the alchemist NPC... The Vein Miner, Weapons Out, Boss Checklist, Recipe Browser, Max Stack Plus, 
the Louis AFK mod, although I'm only gonna use a couple things from Louis AFK. The main thing I want from Louis AFK is the mobile storage and infinite torches. I think that's just a nice quality of life thing. And here's some more new ore that we can mine up. And I just added it to the vein miner. Oh, so it looks like the nature guardian has a cooldown. So I need to wait and it's 26 seconds right now. So after a certain amount of time, we can activate it again. And it has that little thing above our head that shoots a bunch of things quickly. And then it seems to increase the speed of our normal attacks. So we're finding all sorts of new items. Recipe browser is going to be really helpful in this mod. You can see right here, we can see the different items that we can craft and planty matter that does a moss seed bag. Excellent. We just need to find leather pouches and those are from leather. So lots of good things to craft already. I'm just going to try to pick up as much stuff as we can. Even these ores right here, I'm going to go ahead and pick them up. Even though I normally don't use tin, it's still good because you never know what we'll need it for. And pretty soon we're going to need to go underground because it is getting close to night. So we're gonna, just going to have to keep an eye out on that. Hopefully we can find like a an entrance to maybe the underground desert or something. And since this isn't 1.4, we can still use our cactus trick. I'm using T Mod Loader and it's Terraria 1.3.5 still. And so we can get cactus fast. So let's um, go ahead and put platforms across this so we don't fall in. I don't want to go in there just yet. I don't know if we're even going to be able to kill this. Yeah, this might be a little strong for us right now. <laughs> Taking down strong enemies at the start of the game with acorns. This is fun. The power of the druid. Okay, now we got to get across this before we get another one of those guys. Because I definitely don't want to go down there. That takes a little bit too long to kill those enemies. But the knockback is good enough on this weapon that we can pretty much handle it. So we're just running past all these zombies. Oh no, we've got a skeleton? That's not good. We might have to wall ourselves in and dig down. So let's just uh, run as fast as we can. I usually like to get underground quicker than this, but we're struggling a little bit to find a cave entrance. That skeleton looks quite scary. It looks like it came right from the dungeon or something. You definitely can't do this on death mode but it's kind of fun to be playing on expert again so we can kind of take a little bit more risks. Whoa, have we already reached the jungle? Yeah, we've got to the jungle here. So definitely don't want to go into the jungle. Maybe we should turn back. I don't know if we have any teleport potions. Oh, this might be the end of us. Oh no, <laughs> our first death. <laughs> yeah, going to the jungle in the night on our first night, probably not the best decision with zero defense. So I think what I'm gonna do right now is just build a little protection and then we can start going underground, see what we can find. This is really exciting for me because this is actually my first content mod to try out aside from Calamity. I've pretty much always done Calamity and you can see there's tons of videos about it on my channel, but I wanna start trying to do other mods like obviously this one and I've got a few others planned for the future. Well, we just got a treasure and we got an herb bag. That's actually gonna be really good. And this allows us to make vines. Ooh, looks like we have some planty material over here. I wanna say planty mush, but it's planty matter. I just realized we can actually start crafting a few other things. Like we've got enough to probably do cactus armor. So let's go ahead and do that. Anything to give us a little bit of defense. And let's see what other things we can craft. Ooh, this is kind of cool. We need to get a druidic altar though. You can get these tin and copper crosses that increase druidic damage. There's so many new things to learn. I'm so excited to see all these different recipes. Ooh, here we go. I found a bunch of gems over here. I think these are sapphires. This is excellent. Yeah, 11 sapphires. That means we're gonna have a sapphire grappling hook in no time. And that's usually one of my first goals is to get a grappling hook. I also wanna try to get some double jumps or maybe some Hermes boots in the first episode. That's a pretty good start. 
So if we take a look at our map, you can see where we've traveled. Just kind of digging a couple mine shafts through this area. I think we just found our first underground house. Let's take a look at what we got. Hopefully we'll have some teleportation potions soon. Well, we got an extractinator. Um, some bombs. That's amazing. We did get a recall potion, though. That's really good. In fact, let's go ahead and recall to the surface. And let's put a chest down, maybe store a few of the things that we've got. We've got this canite ore, which actually looks really cool. You can craft a hook with it. All we need is some chain and 15 canite bars. So I just crafted a furnace, and now we can turn all of our ore into bricks. Um, let's see what else we can craft. we got a bunch of iron. That's good. And let's see if we've got enough canite. Ooh, we, we do. We have 16 canite. And with chain, we should be able to craft the hook. Excellent. It's our first hook. I don't know how good it is. Ooh, it actually seems to move pretty quickly. It's not very long, but that'll help us a ton early on. And I think it's time to just put up some walls so we don't have all these slimes interrupting us. And I forgot, we can craft the Dig Faster from the Louis AFK mod. And that just is a combination of stone, wood, and iron. I definitely think I'm going to craft it because we are digging so slow right now. And that will help quite a bit. Okay, now let's head over to the ice biome and see what we can find. Ooh, what is that thing on the ground? I gotta break that. A Heart of Thorns? Interesting, what does that do? Summons Thorn Bane of Forest, only usable at day. It's a consumable. Interesting, I wonder if that's a boss or something that's like a positive summon. I don't think I want to try it out just yet, but that's a kind of a cool item. Okay, let's try to get through this ice biome quickly. These ice slimes take a little bit too long right now. Although we should be able to get another staff with Boreal wood. So let's break some of this and see what we can get. I'm really surprised we haven't found any cave entrances yet. Usually you can find one pretty close to spawn and that speeds things up quite a bit because you can get a few treasures usually just right off the bat. Oh man, we got our ice biome covered in water. That's like the worst because then you get slowed when you enter the water. That chill effect I think is removed in the Calamity mod, so it's weird to play with that again. Well, we just made it to Corruption. I don't know if we need to be going into the Corruption right now though, but I don't know if we've got any teleportation potions, so we might as well just keep on going. And if we die, we really don't have much to lose. I put all of our gold away before we started exploring. Well, I guess we can go underwater. Oh no, we got piranhas underwater. This is not good. We need to get them to the other side. They do 57 damage. <laughs> yeah, that was not going to go well for us. We've basically got nothing on the surface. I mean, this is amazing for doing bosses though. We've got just totally flat area, but we don't have any cave entrances. So our best bet is probably to just dig down and start exploring the underground. But before we do that, let's craft the Boreal staff. And that's just is Boreal wood with acorns. Ooh, this one's nice. It shoots like a needle. I think I like that more. Okay, well, we made it. Ooh, luckily we've got a hook. I just remembered when I jumped down that. That'll help a lot. It's interesting how these attacks come from the top of your weapon instead of from the center of your character like normal. Ooh, we got a jellyfish necklace. So this provides light underwater. I can't believe we got a jellyfish necklace on our first jellyfish of the playthrough. That's pretty good luck. Well, we got another worm, but this time I know the strategy. It's throw as many acorns as you can and just hope it runs through them. Ooh, I think we found our first big area in the mines. And we've got some new skeleton mobs down there. I saw one that was like a skeleton pirate or something. Ooh, and a heart crystal. Yes, we're finally finding some good stuff. And we got a gravitation potion. That's excellent. That means we can go and try to get some stuff from the sky. We got a bone spider right here. Interesting. I wonder if this enemy does damage to us or if it's just like one of the creepy crawlies. One good thing is we're finding lots of silt and I've got that on Bane Miner so we can quickly pick all that up 
And the fact that we've got an extractinator at base means that we will be able to get all sorts of good materials. Ooh, we just got platinum. I think that's our first bit of platinum that we've gotten. And that'll be really good because I think we need platinum and gold to do the druidic altar. And we need to get that soon because that'll give us lots of good upgrades. So it looks like we are only able to do like one damage to these enemies. One thing we could also do is just put a bunch of bombs down here and try to get them out of the area. That works out. And we can grab our life crystal. Uh oh. Oh no. I forgot we had brought one of those mobs down here. Oh, that's a bummer. Those do a lot of damage. But we really needed to go back to base anyways, so let's craft all of these. And we actually have enough for the druidic altar now. It's just wood and platinum bars. So let's craft that. Amazing. We can kind of extend our house a little bit. And now we can put all of our silt into this and get some materials. We got a blobble. I don't know what that thing is. Let's go ahead and try killing it. Ooh, this is a cool summon. It shoots like a bunch of ice. So now with our druidic altar in place, we can craft the dryad's chest plate and the dryad's garland and dryad's legs. Excellent, that's just wood and acorns. And that's gonna be a really good upgrade, I think. Three defense, four defense, and two defense. This just only has one, two, and one. So we're gonna go from five to nine. And it also has the other set bonus of staffs casting faster. So that will overall be a really good boost to our damage. The other thing I wanna do is open our herb bag. And we got a bunch of different herbs. These can actually craft into different seed bags later on, but we definitely need to get some leather. Like right here, we can do the moon glow seed bag. That's actually probably gonna be pretty good. Well, it looks like I may have found a cave entrance right here. So let's go underground because it's right about to become night and let's see what we can find. And we got a chest right at the beginning of it. Excellent, an aglet and four recall potions. That's actually quite good. Oh, we even got a mining potion. We got another chest right here and another accessory. We got climbing claws. Hopefully we'll get something good in here. Oh, and we got spiked shoes from the chest and some more recall potions. Whoa, another house right here. This is amazing. And we got a magic mirror. Excellent. We're in the granite biome, but we need to be quite careful. A couple of these granite enemies can really take us out quite quickly, but sometimes they have little houses in here. It's actually fairly likely. Oh no. Wow. We landed in water. <laughs> that was so lucky. I love it. I did not realize how big that room was going to be. Okay, we need to activate our special buff. Because this does really well against the diggers. Well, we're in a precarious situation here. We've got a whole bunch of slimes and a granite elemental all kind of following us. But I think we're going to be able to get out. And here we go. We got another house right here. And a boomerang. Oh no. They can jump and hit us. That's not good. One thing I just noticed is we've got acorn bombs. So that looks like a pretty powerful weapon. It's 32 druidic damage. So that might be a good one to use on some bosses. I think now what I wanna do is head on over to the jungle and that way we can get some of the jungle trees and hopefully craft a new staff. We have gotten to the jungle. So let's go ahead and get some of this mahogany. And we can probably teleport back now. I think we got enough. Oh no, our mahogany staff needs to have these jungle spores in order to craft it. Okay, let's go ahead and activate our attack and see if we can take these down. I have a feeling in between cooldowns, we're not gonna be able to do much damage, but this attack is pretty strong. Every 45 seconds we can use it. Well, we got one rotten chunk. 
I think we need five rotten chunks to craft one piece of leather and two leather to craft a leather bag. Although another thing we can do is pick up ebon wood. Yeah, ebon wood can actually craft into a staff as well. So that's good. We should definitely try that out. Uh oh, we've got a big enemy. That's not good. Okay, I think it's time to head back to base. And there it is, the Ebon Wood Stave. You know what I just realized? All of these items are called staves and not staffs. I think I've been calling them staffs. But yeah, they're staves. Which I think is very similar to a staff. Well, this is pretty sweet. It shoots out leaves and it seems to be a little bit more powerful. So the other thing I wanted to craft is a sapphire hook because I think that's going to be a lot better than this canite hook that we've got. Oh, here we go. We have an ice chest and we've got the flurry boots. Yes, we can run fast now. That is amazing. Well, we got another gold chest right here and there we go. We got the menacing cloud in a bottle and we've got this scary skeleton duelist. I actually really like these skeleton enemies that they've added and they drop these cool coins. I'm not 100% sure what they do, but I think they're for an NPC later on. And another heart crystal. Actually, we've got two heart crystals right here. And we've got a treasure up there. Yes, this is great. Ooh, we got some Hermes boots, and these are armored. So I think those are better than our flurry boots. It's like a cool looking skeleton with a spear. Ooh, and we got a small lost soul. Well, that's awesome. We can use it to craft some druid summon that summons like a spirit squirrel. Wow, lots of cool stuff. Oh my gosh, ancient stone golem. Let's see if we can take this guy down. 170, it's got 170 health, but we're doing a whole bunch of hits at once, even though we're only doing like one damage. Oh my gosh, we just got a cool stave. We got an ancient world stave. That's amazing. Okay, let's try it out. Ooh, it uses mana. Well, I definitely don't have enough mana for that. So let's try to get through here without dying. Oh no. Uh, let's see if we can get out of here. I really want to get that heart crystal. And I probably should call them by the right name. They are technically life crystals, but I always call them heart crystals. Another life crystal, though. Yeah, we're picking up so many of these. Oh no, we've reached the jungle and we got a bunch of spiders. That's not good. I kind of want to venture into the jungle a little bit and see if we can find some jungle spores, because then we can craft our jungle staff. And we are pretty low in the jungle, so we might have a chance at finding some spores. All we need are three, I think. And we've got one right up here. So we can be pretty safe. <laughs> Although we're taking a ton of hits from Silt, so I don't know about that. Okay, we got three jungle spores. That's all we need. We've ventured a little bit too far into the jungle, and I think we're gonna have to turn back soon. But I figure I might as well run around a little bit. Ooh, a house. And in the house, we got a cloud in a bottle. Let's grab a little bit more ore, and let's head back to base. And with our rich mahogany and our jungle spores, we crafted the mahogany stave. And let's go ahead and try this out, see how it works on these mobs. We'll go ahead and use the right click. Ooh, this one's good. It shoots out spores. Yeah, this is going to be amazing for underground exploration. Let's see if it shoots through walls. It does shoot through walls. Yeah, this is amazing. 
I think we're finally starting to get a little bit more powerful. This is definitely the first weapon that's actually feeling pretty strong. Plus, it looks really cool. I like the sprite on this a lot. It's pretty fun how there's such a big variety of weapons that you can use as a druid. Well, I think this is a great place to end this episode. We've got all these enemies attacking us here, but we are so much stronger. We've got this mahogany stave, we've got the ancient world stave, but I haven't used it yet because we don't have enough mana. It'll be a while before we do. We've got Hermes boots and a double jump, so we are pretty much good to go to start fighting some bosses next episode. So definitely stay tuned. I'm probably going to do some work on the world, put a new base in here, and get it all set up a little bit better. So next episode, we're going to have a ton of fun stuff ready to go. It's been so much fun already playing the mod of redemption, seeing all of the new content. I love the different types of skeletons underground and all of the druid items that we've been able to craft. So very excited to start this new playthrough. If you all are enjoying this so far, be sure to like and subscribe so you can see the next episodes. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.